joints. SI joints are three images. We're going to do an AP and then both obliques. So we're going to do these lying down. Again, we're going to pick our detector. We're going to make sure that we're in transverse detent and that we are at a 40 inch SID. For the AP, there is a 30 to 45 degree angle, a cephalid angle. Um, most of the time with men, you'll use 30. Women, you use closer to 45. But most facilities are going to stay right around 30, 35. I'm going to rewind my tube and bucky. And I'm going to collimate to a 10 by 12 lengthwise. For my central ray point, I want to center, I want to find the as is, and I want to center two inches inferior to the as is. Just like the pelvis, the same centering point, I also want to double check to make sure that I have light to the top of the iliac crest, because if I have the iliac crest, then I know I have the entire SI joint on there. I'm going to put my right marker on the side there, and I'm going to make sure that my patient is nice and straight. And I would have my patient just hold their breath, suspend respiration for that APSI joint. For the obliques, I'm going to take my angle off, realign my tube and bucky. And to get my patient oblique, it's a, sh a more shallow oblique than we usually use. It's only a 20 to 30 degree oblique. I'm going to use a smaller sponge. What I want my patient to do is bend your left knee up and bring your left arm over, touch your right shoulder, and roll like a log towards me. So I'm going to put a sponge underneath your hip, roll back onto that, and straighten that leg out for me. So for the obliques, um, we're going to do LPO and RPO, but we're always going to visualize the upside. So I'm going to find the as is, and I want to center at the level of the as is, but one inch medial to the upside. And then we are visualizing her left SI joint for that, so I'm going to use my left marker there. I would again just have my patient hold their breath. And they can breathe, and then I'm going to do the other side. Go ahead and roll up, and I'm going to take that out. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Sponge underneath you there. Go ahead and roll back on your hips. Straighten your leg out. I'm going to find the upside as is. And then I'm going to center at the level of it. And one inch medial. And I'm going to use my right marker for this one. And again, I would have my patient hold their breath. And that's it. Okay.